Welcome to iLearn by MDS Neotech for you. This is a MEQ program to you know more about on specific topic. So this week I just come up with a very interesting title. It's nothing but trending innovation and discoveries in environmental engineering. So this video I will show you the top five uh, trending discoveries made in environmental engineering in the recent years. So this video is very quite interesting as well as very useful. And I just conclude this video with a very interesting contest. Don't think that I am conducting this contest. This was announced by one of the famous scientists with sum of $35,000. Sorry, $30,000. I wish a big sum amount. And what is the procedure to enter into the contest and what we need to do to win that amount? Stay tuned with this video, you will find what is it. So today we will see about trending innovations and discoveries in environmental engineering. So, so in this video we will see about 3D printed membranes, the drinkable book, increasing mercury in ocean, Varka water tower and the grand prize contest. First 3D printed membranes. So this is a 3D printing membranes you will see in this picture. So we will see what is the thing is going on and how it's produced. So 3D printing is an emerging technology in tech world. So recent years, it's something like a hot cake. Obviously, this idea was shared late 2000, but in recent years, it uh, got a lot of improvement from its idea and uh, it was uh, just evolved into the real field and name itself you can imagine that it can produce 3d models yes obviously it can produce 3d models it's for example if you wish to create a mickey mouse toy for your child you can create it with the use of these printers it's very simple you can create a model in your laptop you can send it like control p something like you print in your paper now similar process but these printers will give you the printout of the 3d models the 3d toy in your hand it's obviously very quite interesting so uh, this technology was supported uh, in windows 8.1 voice also so if you have a windows 8.1 as well as uh, 3d printer you can create any 3d models in your home itself so what is my membrane so this membrane it's one of the technology which is uh, quite useful while we will go for a treating water due to its advantages so always while we will go for a water purifying it plays a top priority associate professor Doranson from Nanyang Technical University School of Civil and Environmental Engineering in Singapore he just uh, think different from us he wished to utilize this printing technology uh, to produce membrane for filter the water so he just uh, invent uh, this membrane which was produced by the 3d printer this uh, membrane has lot of advantages over the traditional membranes and obviously the traditional membranes which was utilized for the water filtration are made from plastic ceramic as well as uh, stainless steel so these materials make this uh, membranes those uh, traditional membranes is a very expensive one and also those uh, traditional membranes was easily damaged over the time as well as uh, extreme heat cool even it can damage due to the UV light but uh, you, you must know that UVs are uh, widely used while we go for the water purification it is one of the very uh, eminent uh, factor for killing pathogens in the water so we cannot say don't use UV light in the membrane or uh, UV light in the purification process because that also one of the important thing so but those membranes can't stand those uh, UV light for a long time but this new 3d printing uh, membranes are free from these disadvantages and also it was uh, less expensive than the traditional one and it can extend uh, it has a long lifespan as well as it can withstand extreme heat cool even uv light 
uh, thanks to the titanium dioxide nanotechnology which was utilized in this membrane and also this titanium dioxide methodology uh, nanotechnology is will kill the bacteria and break down the organic components in the waste water with the use of sunlight especially the uv rays so uh, some of the organic matter which was settled in the membrane cause uh, membrane folding that is uh, one of the major issue while we are uh, going for the membrane technology but those type of problem just solved due to this uh, and uh, this material titanium dioxide it just mingle with uv in traditional one uv is a enemy but here uv is a friend of uh, this membrane so they combined and kill the bacteria as well as break down the organic components in the wastewater so it enhance the purification process obviously so what are the advantage it possess over the traditional one first of all it's made up of titanium oxide so it has a higher lifespan than uh, other traditional membranes and also the membrane itself a uh, natural antibacterial and anti fouling properties so obviously don't uh, bother about membrane fouling problem as well as uh, it has enhanced killing bacteria coliform in water so obviously water quality will improve than the water which was treated with the use of traditional membrane and even though it possesses a lot of advantages it has another one a uh, biggest advantage it's nothing but it's very low cost even in, even we go for the production itself because it was utilizing the 3d printers obviously that make it very less cost than the traditional one and it has been stand a long time so that also reduce the overall cost of this membrane and you can uh, have a flow rate 10 times faster than the current water filtration membrane because in traditional one you need to uh, uh, reduce the flow rate of the water because that uh, flow rate flow may damage the membrane so that problem will not arise here so you can uh, feel free to increase the speed so increase the speed means you treat more amount of water within short time and obviously any organic matter that does not decompose can easily bend by putting the membrane in oven heated to some hundred degrees celsius if you see enough uh, some of the organic matters which which cannot be dissolved which cannot be destroyed uh, by the membrane you can feel free to ban it up to 700 don't uh, afraid it will be damaged it can withstand a very high heat but if you go for the same treatment in traditional oh man it will be burned out you cannot go for it next the drinkable book something like different now drinkable book can we drink it no but it will help you to drink a purified water how you will see it in the next slide Actually, the drinkable book was created by McHill University and University of Virginia chemist Dr. Teresa Dankwich. So, this manual has uh, two functions. The first one is uh, something uh, similar what the normal book can do. It has a uh, written facts and tips explain the risk of consuming unsafe water uh, in your lifespan. Obviously, those uh, tips are also very helpful and it will uh, help you to avoid those risk but normally the books can help you to build the tool but the book cannot be a tool but here uh, that myth was uh, just destroyed because this book can be used as a physical tool to kill deadly waterborne diseases oh sounds like terrifying or something like idiot no don't think like that it's a true this book help you to treat your water before you drink it because each page are coated with silver nanoparticles so that's why it can kill the deadly disease so what is the procedure to kill those things okay come to the next step. first 
just tear a paper from it always is study it and tear it now the same thing we can study the tips after that just pick a paper from this book just put into 3d printed case which was obviously for free with this book so you can just put it there and so step 3 pour the contaminated water through this paper so the water which passed through this paper does not contain any pathogens which harmful for your health yes sure because uh, those silver nanotubes will kill those things was quite interesting where to buy it just to go get so based on the result the drinkable water sees a reduction of more than 99.99 percentage amount of bacteria which is comparable to the water in us so you may know aware well aware that us environmentalist has a very stringent law than other countries so definitely you, you will see a huge reduction in the bacteria and it is a good potable water and this book contains 24 usable pages and each paper contains two pages with uh, two filters so each page uh, can be utilized twice but each page can be used for 30 days obviously 48 papers with 30 days so don't think that just 48 papers it can give the pure water up to 4 years because you just multiply it 48 cross 30 almost 1440 days it's merely 4 years so a person who buy this book can drink portable water for almost 4 years in his lifespan definitely it's a huge innovation in the field of environmental engineering so this is quite useful while we go for a trip where you cannot get a safe water and obviously this is a very uh, big innovation it's uh, very helpful for the people who live in the african countries so that's the same thing which was described in their website also Placing mercury in ocean it is not an invention it is a discovery made for the scientist what's the thing is going on there Increasing mercury is something like ozone acidification, but here mercury amount was increased in the ocean. So, as far the current study says that the world ocean opaque considerably more mercury than which it has for the decades. The upper layer of the ozone contain a three time more mercury than uh, before the industrial revolution. So again and again the industrial revolution is. Uh, play vital role for decreasing our uh, environment uh, and as far as the world ozone as a whole concern it is estimated that its mercury content is increased almost 10 percentage while we compare it to the post decays so now the ozone is estimated to hold around 60 to 80 thousand tons of mercury in its dump and the recent research conducted by the Woods Hole Ozonography Institution just blame the man-made activity something like a burning coils, making cements or the very major cause a very major reason uh, which cause a huge rise in mercury uh, in the ocean What are the possible impacts will happen due to this increasing mercury in ozon? Obviously, if you eat a seafood you are consuming more amount of mercury for free without paying any money and when we eat a seafood containing methyl mercury more than 90 percentage is observed passing into our bloodstream so you just see a uninvented friend enter into our bloodstream it can move through our body where it can penetrate cells and tissues and organ so it totally damaged your whole body similarly the sea animals which was always in the sea hold a top on the energy flow got a more amount of mercury 
because they uh, got a huge dumping of mercury from its consumers sorry it's a uh, food something like uh, a small fish containing a small mercury while the big fish which eat that one uh, got double because it eat a numeric number of fishes for its uh, daily food consuming so it initially it consume uh, a more amount of mercury if you consume shark you will get more mercury than you while you consume a uh, small fish next varka water tower again another one innovation in producing water but now it's not treating water here it's uh, producing water from the air so access to the clean water is a big issue in several part of africa Ob obviously those people are uh, uh, really spend uh, their huge time for just getting water so this problem is not only in a certain place it is a major issue in whole of africa so a italian designer aroto vittorio has come up with a different solution uh, it's something it's called uh, getting water from the air so this idea is obviously it's somewhat old but his designs make it very easy and flexible sorry feasible for daily use so his innovative stretcher quite easily collect the water from the thin air so he got his design inspiration from varka trees it is uh, which was widely growing in ethiopia it is uh, one of the uh, important nation in africa so he just uh, got his inspiration for his design so the tower just made up of jangles as well as the bamboo stalks so that have been uh, woven together and inside the structure there is a sports of a plastic mesh material that is made from nylon and polypropylene fi fibers so this is a structure you can see it uh, so so this varka water tower has 30 feet height and 40 kg of weight and you can spend just 550 dollars to construct uh this tower in your place and the nylon and polypropylene fibers that are act as a miniature tunnel so due to this condensation water deposit into this uh, base of uh, uh this tower so you can collect the purified water uh, here it is estimated that around 95 liters of water can harvest from the thin air so in normal places a yeah, family can spare, utilize this one so there there is a group of people it's sufficient amount of water they can get from this one so obviously this is a very important thing for their uh, day comes the contest end of this video prove and win what we need to prove and how much we can get from the starting of the video i am saying you can get 30000 dollars around 180 lakhs yes in indian rupee so what is the deal a scientist dr k thing is offering 30000 dollars almost 18 lakhs of indian rupee i just uh, convert into indian rupee so to anyone who can disprove the theory that human activity is responsible for the global warming sounds like different it's not like that there is a huge amount there is a large number of scientists or uh, support the global warming is a man made problem but there is a small group of people scientists who disagree with those uh, thing so they just says that this is a normal a uh, nature process uh, something like water cycle similarly the global warming can be changed or can be adopted within the nature it is not responsible it is uh, this 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 is not uh, this problem not produced by the human activity like which some people are arguing so this scientist offer 30000 dollars uh, to anyone 
who can prove their theory that this global warming is not a man-made process so he is very safe and he think that he is very safe because uh, majority of scientists are in his side so he was very confident within his lifespan no one can uh, give a logical and uh, uh, scientific proof to prove uh, this is this uh, human activity is uh, responsible for the global warming that theory cannot be disproved like we say he just thought so he just announced this amount huge amount to the open competition so anyone who wish to enter this competition can go for it and even you no need to go for a big research of your own work you can just submit the data which was uh, done by some other uh, some others but the thing is you need to collect those data and you, with use of at least a mathematical derivations or something like that you need to prove with the logic and science you need to prove that it just a nature process not a human activity if you proved and if he convinced with your answer as well as the documents something which you collected whether it's internet or whatever it may be if he convinces and then he will give the sum of 30000 dollars what he says if he got that uh, proof from anybody uh, who gave to him he says it's more worth than this amount of sum so he is uh, very joyful to give that money to the people but the fact is you need to give a solid proof there is a no entry fees so don't hesitate you can search read find data as mathematical expression whatever it may be to disprove this theory just uh, only one restriction your age is 18 or more than that that's a sufficient if you submit it in his website you get reward if he convinced because he is the final judge whether you loss or win this entry so i just made this uh, reference for my this ppt the water is life is uh, one of the important website where you can find the details about the drinkable book so you can go there and find out a uh, lot of things regarding the water is uh, that uh, book related queries and the nature.com soft media.com consumer report.com feldstep.com and psfk.com care environment.weekly.com lifehacker.com dailymail.co.uk so this is a reference i just made here thank you very much for your patience to watch my video until this slide so stay tuned with my video channel to get more videos in upcoming weeks so 